Governor Pakop says the Buai ban has cleaned the city as evidently seen since October 1st when the ban was imposed. He says those involved in petty crimes are only taking advantage of the situation as he says there are other ways of making money. Uh, Pry on you know, um, vulnerable people, especially women and young girls anymore. So uh, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a direct consequence of uh, the boy ban. Uh, it might exacerbate uh, and people might use it as an excuse, but those type of people who are going to use it as an excuse to go into crime and so on, they should be ashamed of themselves. Huh? It's not a responsible conduct of a you know, decent person in, in, in a country like ours to find an easy way out or find an excuse to go into crime. Huh? Crime should be the last of the last resort, huh? yeah, where people have absolutely no choice. But in our country, people still have land. They still have alternative crops, and we are still working on the markets for the vendors, huh? so they should be patient. Huh? Another initiative is the bus stop warden program, where Governor Pakop has allocated funds but yet to receive. Governor Pakop further explained there are youth empowerment programs and scholarship schemes available with NCDC, ones that have been running for the past four years. 1,000 scholarship. This year, just in one year, we've awarded 2,000 scholarship. Uh, we've increased the budget from 500,000 per year to 4 million. So that's about 200 or 300% increase. Uh, and, and so young men and women can uh, apply for that uh, scholarship. Secondly, we have the Urban Youth Employment Program. Uh, it's a, a program that I push for and it's funded by World Bank and uh, other, other partners as well. However, he says NCDC needs more funds to cater for the ever-increasing number of young people who migrate into the city. He called on other provincial governors to be creative and innovative and provide opportunities so that youths can remain back home. Bridget Komatap, National MTV News.